Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. Today we are going to see a trick in QGIS that might look very simple, but trust me, it was not obvious for everyone because I've noticed a lot of people are searching for this online. So the trick is how to create or how to do an if condition in the raster calculator. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with QJS and the raster calculator itself. If not, please check my other tutorials. I have a video uh, that walks you through the basics of QJS that's going to appear somewhere around here or you can find it in the description below if you want to, you know, get up and running with QGIS and this amazing free tool. Now, why would you need an if condition in the raster calculator? That's what we are going to see and we are going to cover in this video. So, for example, we have this topography here or maybe you will have like a thickness map and you want to filter the areas, let's say, where the thickness is, I don't know, like uh, more than 10 meters. We all do this in, you know, in, in geology or there's different interests and things that uh, you want to do uh, with this specific technique. So that's why I would like to know in the comments below what are the applications that came to your mind uh, of this uh, technique when you saw this uh, video. Also, please, I've noticed that 80% of the people who are watching these videos are not subscribers, which is really crazy, you know, guys. So please hit that subscribe button and I would like to see you here again in the upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's go into the tutorial. So the first thing that we are going to do here is to head over to the raster calculator, which you can find inside the raster menu. And you can see that we have raster calculator. Now, this of course depends on the version of QGIS that you're using, but I believe that if you search for raster calculator here, you can find it all so. So you can find another raster calculator here. And uh, like I said, it really depends on the version of QJS that you're using. And of course, this method or uh, the if condition, it might be like available as a, uh, I don't know, like uh, as a button, as a straightforward button that you can use uh, in the latest version of QGS. So, um, so I don't know, I don't predict the future. So let's go to raster calculator and let's say, as you can see here, we have with in the, inside this DEM, which is a topography, and you can see that we have the values ranging between 86 and 920. And let's say we are going to assume that this may be a thickness map and we are going to do that application that I told you about. So you can see here that we don't have anything that says if. So what I want to do is like if I was doing this in a, you know, if I have uh, the if condition available, what I would say is if uh, the uh, value inside the raster is above, let's say, 500, I want to keep the uh, area. If it's maybe uh, below that, I want you to get rid of the pixels. So uh, what I end up with is just filtering out the areas with the, an elevation that is above or a thickness that is above that value 500. So here we don't have that. So how do we actually get around this? One easy way to do this is to think about what are the possible things that can be done. So let me walk you through this step by step. So if I go and say topography, for example, and I would say uh, maybe more or above 500 and I want to see what kind of things that this uh, raster calculator is going to generate uh, for me above and uh, 500 for example and you click on OK. OK so that's really interesting. What do we notice here? We notice that we have boolean values we have as if we have a true and false. So everything that is below the 500 you can see that the QGIS gave it zero and everything that is true, which means one, it's got, it's in white here, we have a value of one. So you can see if I use this 
uh, tool here, the uh, identify features. If I click on this one, you can see that the band value is 1 and the band value here is 0 where the this one is black. So that's interesting. So how can we use this to filter out the areas that we are interested in? So it's really simple. Let me go to raster calculator again. And now what I want to do is I'm going to create, uh, you know, open parentheses here and I'm going to go topo and again I'm going to say above 500 and I'm going to close this one. So this one if it's above 500 it's going to give me 1. If it's below 500 it's going to be 0. Now we have a value here of 1 and 0 depending on the pixel itself. And now what I can do, I can multiply this by the topography itself. So let me go and see what is this going to do. So if the pixel is actually above 500, which means that it is going to be 1, it's going to be multiplied by the same exact value of that pixel because we're multiplying this by the topography. Sorry, I forgot the multiplication, you know, uh, sign there. And now I'm multiplying this by the topography. So for example, if it's uh, 501, so we're going to have E1 here multiplied by this one, multiplied by 501. So we're going to keep that value 501. And now let's see what happens if it's below 500. It's going to be zero. So for example, let's say that we have a value of 490, for example. It's below 500, which means that we are going to have a value of zero here. And anything is going to be multiplied by zero, it's going to generate zero. So you got the idea. Now we've created an if condition with the Boolean operations or uh, the zero and one that we have in here. So let's call this maybe, I don't know, uh, again, let's call this above 500 maybe a dash 2 because this is the second one and see what this is going to generate for us and click on OK and now what you can see if I hide this one and hide this one you can see now since the the value of 0 in terms of pixels is going to be black you can see that this one is 0 but everything that is above 500 kept its value so we are we have a confirmation here you can see that we have 509 and this one maybe is 501 and everything below 500 is 0 now how do we get rid of the uh, the black things in here all we have to do is to right click and go to properties and then in the transparency here we are going to tell the software we have an additional transparency value which is 0 and we click on a plus here so everything that is uh, ha having a, a value of zero is going to be 100% transparent and click and apply and now you can see that we filtered out the areas that have an elevation above 500 and maybe what we can do if you want to say let's say we are, we are creating a map then we can go for example to this one and properties go to symbology and change this one to like these different values and click on apply and OK and you can see now we've created a cool map we've uh, filtered out the elevations that are above 500 or maybe the thickness or whatever thing that you can came up with and we added some colors in there and we're creating a really cool map here that you can later on plot or export to whatever formats that you want and the raster calculator can you know allow you to do a lot of things maybe uh, you might be thinking now how do I do a thickness map so maybe you have the top of that uh, formation or that geological layer and the bottom one what you can do is just this one the top one minus the bottom one and it's going to generate for you the thickness map so basically uh, basically I'm going to have as if I have a matrix here and you're going to do matrix uh, you know uh, subtraction there and it's gonna give you the resulting matrix which is gonna be the thickness the the top one minus the uh, bottom one and then what you can do is you can go and use that resulting uh, raster and do the same exact thing here with the if condition and you can filter out whatever you want or, or maybe you have like 
a grid distribution map and you want to filter out the areas that you are interested in so there are a lot of things that you can do with this method and I would like to know in the comments below what are the things that you can use uh, or you can do with this method so that's it for this tutorial it was really quick and uh, I hope it was informative and without um, you know wasting your time please subscribe and see you in the next video